This shortcut better be worth it. Don't want the Nova Sec to be waiting for us on the other side. What? Look at that thing. It's one of those machines we've seen broken all over the zone. So this one seems very much alive and guarding the city against interlopers. Yeah, this is not like ghouls or zone dogs. We can't fight this thing. We need another way around it. They got some nice artifacts in there. This looks sold, even by the ancient standards. They really made a lot of odd little things, didn't they? I think the way out is this way, guys. Not a moment too soon. This forbidden city gives me the creeps. Watch my back. I did that. What do you think about that, huh? Good. You 
You don't know who you're messing with. That's from me. of my blurred vision, something comes out of the arc, light dancing across my arm, up my face. I look up. I'm being scanned by some giant eyeball. Then Ducks and Faro get scanned. Then Magnus and Selma. The light cuts out and the eyeball darts back inside the wall. We hear pistons churning, gears turning. A machine humming back to life. The gates of Eden open. Maybe Eden sees we're mutants and welcomes us home. We stand there in silence. The five of us are all mutants, found and raised by the Elder. This feels like an answer to the question that's plagued our lives. Who are we? Do we go in and find out? When Ducks and me first started out, everything was cut and dried. The Elder knew best. There were no answers in the zone. Mutants didn't know who they were, where they came from, and that was fine. No one cared. But now, after the enemies we fought, after the friends we found, after all we've seen, the five of us stand here at the gates of Eden. Do we go in? Do we want to know who we are? It is done. Now, let's see what hides behind that gate. flying machines. The machines did come from here. Hammond was right. More guarding machines. All unbroken. But quiet. Are they asleep? away from this place, but I think we're about to find out. I don't believe it. I can't believe it. On 
unreal. A tree and grass, just like outside. is messing with my head. This can't be a picture of me, right? This time we're talking about skeletons that don't look like us. This one kinda does. There might have been mutants in Eden. Screen with the lights. If we want answers, that's a good place to start. We huddle around the screen. The words Mutant Project blink on and off in big red letters. The screen turns black, then explodes with a flurry of flashing images, faster than we can take in. I catch glimpses of mutants in test tubes. Animals in cages, strands of code, something called DNA. The screen freezes on one final image. An employee profile. A scientist of the Mutant Project. It says his name is Ingmar Edison. His face. When we see his face, those eyes staring back at us. We couldn't believe it. It was him. The profile says his status was revoked after stealing mutant experiments from the lab. Memories come flooding back. We were the experiments. They raised us in tubes and played games with our DNA. Made us freaks. The Elder was part of this. Happy endings died with the Ancients. Why didn't he tell us? Who is he? The room spins. The truth comes flooding back into my brain. Everything I know is a lie. I lose my balance. As the room turns black, a voice crackles onto the radio. Ghost-like, ethereal, like the ancients call it command down from center space. Sweden. Command Center Sweden. Coming Command Center Sweden. I repeat. Command Center Sweden. Command Center Sweden. Coming Command Center Sweden.